oh, let's talk about some mess. Let's talk about some mess, okay? Because I feel like this is messy. So I don't know if you guys watch Bad Boys L.A. Um, that comes on Zeus, all right? Some people do, some people don't. So y'all know this is a show, I believe it was like produced or some kind of created by Miss Natalie Nunn. Because I know Natalie Nunn was on Bad Girls Club years ago. And then she did this show called Baddies ATL that I couldn't get into and don't think I'm going to get into the new season. Talk about some. Excuse me, Baddie South. I think it kind of irritates me slightly seeing how grown and old these ladies are and y'all still out here throwing hands. Like, that's what's... Why? And Natalie got a whole husband and a daughter. Like, girl, we still on that? We still on that? Like, girl, you should be on your shining. Okay? Don't be getting down in the trenches with the ladies. Okay? Maybe you could be the puppet master and watch from afar slide in a little bit like you did on Bad Boys and then slide back out. You know what I'm saying? But, girl, you be trying to get in the trenches with the people. And it's like it's not adding up for me. But anyway, girl. So, y'all, if y'all have been watching the latest season, y'all know that um, Jonathan, who is a hairstylist, very popular hairstylist, came in and punked the hell out of Milan. Which I absolutely enjoyed because uh, Milan was walking around like he was that guy and he was that girl in the house until Jonathan came and punked him out. So Milan decided he was going to call one of his friends, girl. He called one of his friends to, to fight Jonathan for him in, in so many words, only for the friend to get dragged. Literally, when I tell you he uh, <laughs> when I tell you Jonathan punched his friend, I thought I was watching Dragon Ball Z. The way this man flew from the middle of the living room to the other side, I said, oh, wow. So Jonathan was really out here handing it to the people. He fought that boy about maybe four times, beat his tail. He done scared uh, Milan. Milan done ran out the room. Girl ran out the room screaming. So I said, oh my God, he got a fire extinguisher. He got a fire extinguisher. Da, 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 da. But what Jonathan says is the reason he had the fire extinguisher was because Milan had mace in his hands. He was going to mace him. And I know that's my right. You ain't going to mace me. I think I ain't going to douse you with this fire extinguisher, baby. We both going to be blind. What you talking about? Yes, you can get it. And then I'm going to clunk you with it. And it's the fact that Jonathan was climbing up walls while being held by security just to jump onto Milan's homeboy. I screamed and cackled. And when he got on top of the boy, he lightly pulled out this man's braids, literally just gently pulling them out. It was like he was laying in the ground, pulling out grass from the ground. Like that's how easily the braids came out this man's head. I cannot. OK, um, the braids came out of his head easily Jonathan wore them as a costume I can't like how you come in there trying to defend Milan and you get your ass whooped talking about some when Jonathan said I'm just trying to see Milan is this our bedroom because he was willing to share with Milan and um Milan said no it's not our bedroom then Jonathan was like okay then it's my bedroom and then he'll go oh uh, Rio talk about some no it's not no it's not no it's not then he ran up and literally got done all the way up girl I said what is happening and I can't Rio, I, I can't stand Rio now because Rio is on the Milan list for me that I don't like. And he over there trying to get on social media and he said something like, um, um, he, he was trying to make fun of gutter and saying, I need Jonathan to come do my hair because of some, some gutter, whatever like that. And then I said, baby, don't be trying to sit up here and, and get friendly with the person that beat your ass. Everybody always want to get cool with the person that got beat, that they got beat up by. I said, don't do that. And then he responded to me and said something like something like you don't even understand something he said to me. And I said, no, oh, no. He said, you have too much time. And I said, I have the same amount of time, sir, that you have when you came up there trying to fight for somebody and got your ass whooped. That's the same time that I'm on, baby. You, you remember how much time you had, how much time Jonathan gave your ass when he whooped your ass multiple times? throughout that house we're on the same time sweetheart okay but anyway child let's keep going so it's just a messy situation then they're gonna bring this boy to the house then Milan gonna do an interview with Armand talk about it was always the plan for Rio to come into the house well no it wasn't it was not the plan for that man to come into the house you just needed a bodyguard and you needed some protection because if it was the plan we would have knew more about him ahead of time Girl, he was not in no advertisements or nothing because he was never supposed to be there. Baby, Andrew got more, more uh, promo than Rio because Andrew was supposed to be there and he skated out. So you're not going to play with America. You're not going to play with me. But anyway, so let me tell y'all. 
Ah, messy. It's getting in the streets, okay? So um, Natalie Nunn did a live a few, like a week or two ago with all of the bad boys, and she's trying to do a reunion, right? Well, when they got on the live with Jonathan, Jonathan kept it real frank, and that's what I like about Jonathan's personality. He doesn't change himself for who he's talking to. Um, he doesn't sugarcoat anything. It's like how you take it is how you take it, and I really like that. He's himself, right? He told um, Lemuel, like, I don't want to do this bad boy stuff. Like, I'm, I'm cool on it. Like, I want my own docu-series. Like, I want to show, like, my come up and where I'm at today. Like, where I started versus where I'm at. That's what I want to do. And it seems like they may have actually been considering it, considering the fact that they ain't got SHI going on on their app anyway. And I'm finna cancel when bad boys LA go off. I don't care anything about Baddie South, baby. So, I'm like, um, you might as well give him the show that he wants because, one, it's going to give a different type of con uh, content that's on the platform. So, it's only going to make sense for y'all to do that. It's going to give a different type of content and a lot of people, everybody loves Jonathan right now. So give him what he want. I promise the people are going to tune in. So there's that. All right. So after that, we saw where Milan gets upset. He's trying to go off on, on um, Lemuel. He's trying to go off on Natalie because, oh, this is the real reason why Milan got mad, y'all. So when his friend Rio was getting his ass ragged and tagged, girl, I'm talking about ragged and motherfucking tagged. <laughs> girl, Milan was sitting up high in the bushes looking down. This man ran out of the house to go run and sit on brick and had the audacity to sit up there and say that Zeus edited it to make it seem like he was scared. Baby, Zeus didn't have to do anything. It was you running out of the room, out downstairs into the outside. That was enough for us to know how scared you were of him. Actually, when you called Rio the first time was enough for us to know how scared you were of Jonathan. And when I tell you Jonathan plowed the fuck out of Rio, baby, I would have ran too. I would have ran to and I would not have sat on the uh, on the brick on the high level fence. I really would have climbed to the top of the roof and probably sat on the chimney hoping hoping that I would not fall the hell in. Do you hear what I say? I would have been like Dylan's fake ass. And y'all know I can't stand Dylan ready to jump the gate after he just got beat up by really. All right. But anyway, girl, that's one of the things that he was really, really mad, uh, mad about. So he calling producers and stuff like, why did y'all do that? Why did y'all do that? Y'all did da, 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 da. And it was so funny because the producer did not necessarily validate him. She just said, you and I know what happened. Uh, I wasn't in the editing room. You know, I, I don't know. Like she really didn't validate you, sir. While you try to record this woman and put her out there. She didn't validate you. You was you jump scared and the cameras were there to witness it. Just like you hurried up and turned in Jonathan's information to the police, which are scary. Is. But you keep running around talking about how much of a boss you are. Anyway, girl. So let's fast forward. Because I had to give it to him. Because y'all know I ain't been reviewing bad boys. So I had to just go ahead and just let it out just a little bit. But anyway, so it looks like they're trying to do a bad boys Atlanta. And this is not going to be a production of Zeus. Girl, if anything, Milan decided that he's going to go and create his own streaming network called Milan Christopher TV. I'm screaming. Like, what is this? What is this? He's putting it out. And it's so funny to see Moolah. Up here standing next to these uh, these two um, gay men, from my understanding, Rio is gay. Um, so it's like you was just sitting up here acting like you just so against gays, against gays, all this other stuff, these acts that you were doing. Um, girl, let me not because I'm about to go in on, um, on Moolah's teeth. And he has the audacity, girl, not with them cheeklets that's brown, <laughs> not the brown cheeklets that's cracked. But anyway, girl, you have the audacity. All right. Um, to to try to come at the gay community for whatever reason, showing how uncomfortable you are within your damn self, which is why we like Curtis so much, because Curtis, you can look and tell to me. I don't believe Curtis is gay as, at all, but he's so comfortable in himself that it's nothing for him to engage in conversation and talk to God like they brothers. You know what I'm saying? Like that's his little brother or whatever the case may be like what? Oh, girl, I just mm -mm. and then now you over here doing a whole show with them called Bad Boys Atlanta. So what ended up happening once this dropped? Because people got confused and they're like, oh, my God, is this Zeus? Is this a new one? Is this a new one? Zeus said, baby, this ain't no new show. But this is not no new show. So Zeus came out and said. The Zeus Network has been made aware that Milan Christopher has issued a casting call for a show called Bad Boys Atlanta. This show is not affiliated with Zeus and the use of the Bad Boys name in connection with this program is a violation of Zeus's exclusive in, in, to, 
intellectual property. Sorry, guys. Intellectual property rights. Zeus must protect the use of, of his intellectual property. And as a result, Zeus has issued not a cease and desist to Mr. Christopher pertaining to his unauthorized use of Zeus's trademark and other rights. This is interesting and this is messy. They're saying, furthermore, Mr. Christopher's contract, as well as the contracts for Rio and Mula Mo, or Mu, whatever the hell his name is, with Zeus, contains an exclusivity period provision in which they agree that they would not appear on another reality TV show until June of 2023. Hella interesting. I told y'all, I told y'all that before. Um, when y'all, when people work on different sets, movies and other stuff, sometimes um, even if you book as like not even a major role on some sets, they can tie you up to not work for the rest of the year, which could possibly suck for you. Because if you're not getting paid enough to take care of your household that whole year, then yikes, you can continue to audition or whatever you're going to do. But you can't, you know what I'm saying? Um, book anything. Hello? Or no, I'm not gonna say you can't book anything. You could book something, but you can't like film anything during that time frame. So there's that. What else? They're saying um that they, they weren't supposed to do anything without giving uh first obtaining Zeus's written permission permission. So it's kind of like Zeus has the first right of, of refusal. So you can go and say, Hey, these are the projects I'm trying to work on, da-da, and they could tell you yes or no. Like, yeah, you can work on that because we don't have nothing scheduled at that time where they can tell you, no, you can't. So according to Mr. Christopher, Rio and Moolah are not permitted to appear on another reality series at this time. They said we apologize for any confusion surrounding the next installment of the Bad Boys franchise. Currently, we look forward to the second season's audition of the Bad Boys in Houston, Texas this weekend. Girl, this right here is messy because what they ended up doing shortly thereafter was dropping this. So they are having auditions in Houston with the celebrity judges. We don't know who the mystery judge is going to be at this time, but they do have Jonathan and they do have Natalie. And I'm sure Milan is probably mad because he ain't one of them judges. Yikes. They need to put Relly B up there. They need to be Jonathan, Natalie, and really, in my opinion, girl. So let me tell y'all what ended up happening after all of this drop, girl. Oh, and after Zeus decided that they was going to call um, Milan to the front and tell him, like, baby, no, you're you're um, affecting our intellectual property. Like, you're violating rights, trademarks, all of that stuff. What do you think you're doing? So this is what Milan had to say. Dear Zeus, still Lemio Plummer, Dear, dear Natalie Nine. Um, sweetie, you don't own the rights to a fuck ass thing. It's a bad boys movie, bad boys records, and has been tons of motherfucking bad boys TV shows before you even came out with motherfucking bad boys LA. So releasing a statement saying your intellectual property, you don't have any intellectual property that has anything to do with bad boys Atlanta, which has actually been copyrighted and trademarked by me. So um, go mind your motherfucking business, bitch. And with that being said, um, make sure you guys come out to June 18th for the Bad Boys Atlanta casting call. Make sure you click on MCTV Streaming Network and fill out your applications so you guys can come out and be have the opportunity to be on a new show. That's messed up. That's messed up, if you ask me. That is completely F the hell up. To tell these people that they do not own the rights to the name that they started, and that he does. And we'll get into that in just a second, okay? Um, let's get into what Rio had to say. So listen, let me explain something to y'all. We ain't no stupid niggas over here. We done done everything we need to do to make sure it's a go. So keep submitting. Bad Boys ATL, we here. We lit. No fucks given. Girl, I can't. I cannot. I cannot. Then you got Rio on there. Girl, I cannot. I can't. Like, <laughs> so let me tell y'all what else. What else happened? So I don't have it right here in front of me. Um, it was sent to me, but I did not have time to put it into my thing. So I apologize about that. But I'll tell y'all what Milan recently posted and what he took down. So what Milan ended up posting was him actually having the trademarks to certain names, y'all. And those names, let me see if I can pull it up real quick, girl, because this is some message here. Girl, he done damn near trade, trademark everybody's name. Let's just let's just talk about it. He done trademark everybody's name. Um, here it is right here. Let me put okay. So 
Yeah, he trademarked the name Bad Boys LA. I'm mean, Atlanta. I'm sorry. Trademark it. He didn't put up his um uh, the person's name that he had to process the uh, trademark. And he didn't trademark Bad Boy Atlanta.com, Bad Boy LA.com, Bad Boys ATL.com, Bad Boys Atlanta.com, Bad Boys LA.com. Yet again. So it's Bad Boy LA and Bad Boys LA.com. Do you hear what I'm telling y'all? Girl, if he did not pull a Diana from uh, what was that show called? Miss Diana with the girls dancing dolls. If he didn't pull a Diana the way Diana pulled one over there on Southern University. I don't know who did. Then he showed his documents of registration. Now, I don't think these are finalized yet. And who's to say that Zeus didn't already submit it. So if Zeus already submitted it. Y'all know that trademarking stuff now is taking longer, right? So it could take anywhere from six to six months to a year, right? So if Zeus put their application in before Milan, then his his application could actually get bumped. Now he may get access to some of the stuff because he filed so many for different ones, but it, we just gonna have to wait and see. We're going to have to wait and see. But when he put all of this up on the post of everything he's 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 gotten trademarked, this is what he said in the caption. He says, Dear Miss Natalie Nunn, you and the Zeus Network and Lemuel Plummer might want to tread lightly with the defamation post and speaking on my all caps intellectual property because I am the actual owner copyrighted and trademarked and LLC which he did have a LLC in Atlanta he says I am the legal owner of bad boys and bad boys Atlanta and all domain names so actually you are infringing on my intellectual property now don't make me get nasty with you stinkers <laughs> I can't stand it <laughs> Anyway, see y'all at hashtag bad boys ATL casting Saturday, June 18th. Checkmate. Listen to me. That is some shady mofo SHI. That is shady as hell. Now, I have to give it to uh, uh, Milan as much as I hate to. That's how you play your mofo, too. At the same time, you play with me, I'm going to play with you. I'm going to go buy up the domains and trademark the names that y'all have yet to do so. Now run it. And then I got smart enough and wise enough to create his own streaming network. And as much as I may not like it, he looks like he may have an audience that's going to buy into what it is that he got going on. Ooh. Girl, I hate to see it. Let me see what this comment is saying here. The trademark can be denied if Zeus was using bad boys before he trademarked the name and decided to trademark the name showing proof they used it first. Whoop, there it is. Because, see, that's what they're going to be battling, I'm sure, because they used the name first in all paperwork. And then they're going to be able to show and prove that he signed on to this project and then at a later time decided that he wanted to go and try and trademark it. But listen, if Zeus as a quote unquote network or whatever they want to call themselves um, started to operate with this name, not trying to trademark it at all, that's very disappointing. That's very disappointing if you're going to be on that large enough of a platform for millions and millions of people and y'all didn't get y'all stuff in order. So I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time believing that they didn't. So I want to believe that they did do and take the necessary steps. Um to get their stuff trademarked and maybe Milan was just a little too late and decided to file anyway because he probably didn't when he searched for it he probably didn't see a name or anything right I'm not sure how it works my attorney's working on that but um I'm not sure how it fully works but I'm thinking that he could have did a search and probably did not see anything linked to bad boys LA but it doesn't mean that it wasn't already being processed considering the fact of now you know how long it's taking for for stuff to get done. So yeah, girl, we just gonna have to wait and see how this um plays out. Did you see what Natalie posted from Zeus on IG? I just got here. I don't know if you saw it. Um, are you speaking on the bad boys um thing? The the bad boys Houston? Because I think I did see uh this post. I think she posted this, but that's all that I have seen. I don't follow her uh, for real to see everything, but I did see this. Okay, so I think that you could be talking about that. I'm not sure. 
Um, what about Bad Boys the movie? These people are wasting money on trademarks thinking it's a smart move, but it's more to it. I do not know about Bad Boys the movie. I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, thank you so much, Mims, for the super chat. You saw Bobby and Roland Ray doing a show. I did see that, and I'm not interested. Mm -hmm, I did see that. I did see that. I think it's great that both of them are working together because Bobby never had an issue with Roland Ray to begin with. You know what I'm saying? Roland Ray just funny as hell. And I am glad to see that he's coming back because y'all know, I think he ended up catching C-19. He's been very, you know, low key. We haven't been hearing anything from him. And I was worried. I was like, where's Roland Ray? Like, is he okay? Like, what's going on with him? So it was great. It was great to see that he is going to be connected with Bobby and um, they're going to be doing a show together. So I think that's really good. And for Bobby to look out for him and to uh, pull him on to what he got going on and to put money in his pocket. So I think that's a really good thing. So shout out to them for doing that. It's just that I'm not really interested in watching. But, you know, my mind can change. That's how I feel today. We shall see. OK, um, let's see. They're going to open a can of worms. The what the big boys who actually can do something with the name going to smash everything. Ooh, child, we gonna see. Cause I don't know when Milan filed this and I don't know how legit it is, but we just gonna have to wait and see what it's really looking like. But let's go ahead and scoot over guys. Let's scoot over, okay?